and welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my channel about all of the crafty bits and pieces I get up to. Just popping on really quickly to let you know who's getting the prizes for the Recyclamal that we finished at the end of April. So just to remind you, the Recyclamal was where we took something we already owned that wasn't really getting the use or something we found in a thrift shop um, that we wanted to adapt and turn into something that would get use and would be loved. So just reusing those bits and pieces that are taking up space in our homes to make them into something that we're going to love or is going to be beautiful or is going to fit our needs better. So we have two prizes to give out. We have this tote bag and selection of nitty goodies from the lovely Carolyn in Australia who will be sending this out directly. Um, and we also have a project bag that I have made out of recycled fabric from a previous make and pillowcases for the lining. It has a cover to keep your project nice and clean, comes with a drawstring and handles. And I will also be including some offcuts of fabrics from some projects that I have made as well. So one sewy type pro um, prize and one knitty type prize. So we're gonna have one prize from Ravelry and one prize from Instagram. Uh, the majority of the makes that were, were shown as recycling our makes were sewing, but I am I'm going to work on the principle that if somebody is on Ravelry, they are going to be into knitting as well. So the Knitty Bundle from Carolyn down in Australia will be going to our Ravelry prize winner and I will be sending out the sewing themed prize for the Instagram winner um, as soon as I work out what hours my post office are doing because who knows, that could change in the next few days. So for our Ravelry winner, um, the Knitty Bundle from Carolyn and for our sewing winner, the project bag and some offcuts from myself. So if you are fortunate enough to win a prize, let me know your address by emailing this email address or direct messaging me on Instagram or Ravelry. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look and see who has won our prize on Ravelry. It is this project, which is by the lovely Erin Ireland. Um, she's reworking some shirts, um, so they have a lot of memories attached to that project. So it's a really lovely project. Um, hope it goes really, really well. Um, that if you let me know your address, I'll pass that on to Carolyn and she will send out your bundle of nitty goodness from Australia. Now over on Instagram, winning our Zoe theme prize, coincidentally, is Carolyn from Australia. So Carolyn, who is to knit to crochet, has put up this lovely project here with the gorgeous Petey, who is a trainee assistance dog for Assistant Dogs Australia and he is awesome. Um, so a, a fantastically well-made bed for the lovely PT, well-deserved at the end of the end of the day. Um, so let me know your address, Carolyn, and I will get that sewy bundle of stuff out to you. So those are our prize winners for my first ever make along. Thank you so much for everyone who took part. Uh, it was great seeing things that you have been making. Obviously, feel free to continue to recycle stuff and tag me in your post on Instagram. Let me know what you're up to. I have opened up the recycle amount threads in Ravelry, although I haven't, I left them unstickied, um, but I've reopened them up so that if you do make any more recycle projects, you can share them with us, um, although they won't still be eligible for prizes, unfortunately. Um, but do feel free to share them and we'll get that chat going and hopefully throughout the year, we'll see lots of goodies being made and recycled. Now I do have in mind another make along to do but I'm going to hold off on that a little bit. I was going to start it early May um, but I'm thinking with everything going on at the moment that it might be worth postponing that slightly plus I have a birthday coming up in June so uh, watch this space for news of any future make-alongs because I might tweak my plan slightly and do something birthday related instead of what I had in mind and save that for another point because that could actually done, be done at any point. It doesn't have to be summer. So. Uh, if that's not cryptic enough, uh, <laughs> keep an eye out for my next video. Like and subscribe down below. Congratulations to our two winners. And remember to let me know your addresses so we can get those prizes winging their way to you as fast as the pandemic will allow. Until next time, stay safe, have a great one, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now.